Hello, I'm Doug Soltes with Storage Made Easy, and I'd like to take some time and tell you what's new in our enterprise file fabric. Now behind the scenes, our developers have been hard at work, bringing you the latest enhancements for collaboration, governance, and compliance. So to start off with, I'd like to talk about some of our enhanced authentication features. To begin with, we've added to our impressive lineup of Active Directory and LDAP by ingrating in SAML authentication. We've added two-factor authentication. Two-factor authentication can be used in our web app. It can also be used in our mobile and desktop clients. And this is going to allow a user to choose from a two-factor authentication via email, passphrase, or Google Authenticator. And to our iOS and Android apps, we've added biometric scanning. So now you can use your fingerprint to add extra security to your Storage Made Easy app. Our enterprise file fabric continues with the best-in-class features related to data governance and compliance. Most recently, we've been working on GDPR. GDPR goes into effect in May of 2018, and we've recently added enhanced audit trails to our system. We've further beefed up our encryption. Storage Made Easy has always had encryption in the enterprise file fabric, but now we give the ability to do per provider encryption, which allows you to enhance the already existing options of encrypting everything and encrypting team share folders. We've also integrated into key management systems. The first key management system on the list is HashiCorp's Vault system. And we've enhanced how our ACLs work. Our ACLs work against any storage backend and we've given new increased granular functions to these ACLs. At Storage Made Easy, we find collaboration to be the backbone of productivity. And with that in mind, the Enterprise File Fabric has enhanced employee collaboration by adding in approval workflows. We've also integrated in web editors. Zoho Team Office Editing allows multiple users to edit the same document via the web interface. And we've made our comment system even better. We've attached timelines so that individual versions of files can have comments associated with them. And those individual comments can have attachments associated with them. At the core of the enterprise file fabric is our support for over 50 backend storage providers. And to that, we've added more to the list. We now have support for OpenStack Swift v3 Keystone Authentication, as well as Minio and Dell EMC ECS Object Storage. And we've taken our existing providers and made them even better. Our S3 providers can now use multi-part uploads, range reads, and we've enhanced our indexing performance. But instead of just talking about these features, Let's log into a terminal and see them in action. Let's begin our demonstration with SAML authentication. SAML replaces the normal sign-on with a new button that will redirect you to the Microsoft SSO site. This button is fully rebrandable. On this site, I can uh, sign on with the traditional SAML, or I can use the new experience. And just like that, I'm redirected into my File Fabric account. Continuing on the theme of security, let's see how simple it is to set up two factor authentication in the new Enterprise File Fabric. A user signed into the Enterprise File Fabric would click on their dashboard. They would scroll down to Security, where they'll find two factor authentication. Switching two factor authentication on gives them the choice of how the two factor code would be sent to them email, passphrase, or Google Authenticator. We're going to select Google Authenticator. Google Authenticator is an application that is available for both iOS and Android. It is available in the Google Play Store. When I switch this on, I can now open my phone, click Begin, scan a barcode, and just like that, I am all set with two-factor authentication. Uh, updating my options, I'm able to now sign out of the system 
And now on login, I'm going to be required to use this two-factor code, which as you can see, only has a limited lifespan. Two factors turned on. I'm going to enter this code. And just like that, we have two-factor authentication. It's available for iOS and Android, for the web application, and for our mobile clients. Continuing on with mobile enhancements, have you ever wanted to unlock your Android or iOS application with your fingerprint? Well, with Storage Made Easy, you can. Opening the Storage Made Easy app, I'm greeted by a screen allowing me to use my fingerprint to unlock my device and access my files on cloud. Let's dive in some of the enhanced governance and compliance features in the file fabric. An organizer can go to policies and under policies they're going to find the encryption options. Now one new one is key management systems and we're not going to get into that in this video but we do support the KMS system from HashiCorp called Vault. But under encryption we have our, our normal encryption settings. Now inputting an encryption password unlocks the ability for me to encrypt folders. The file fabric has had the ability to lock team folders or shared folders and to unlock all data used by users with encryption. The new option is what we call nominated folders. Nominated folders gives you the ability to on a per folder or per provider level lock individual folders for encryption. So let's see how this works. If I update my policies, an admin can select individual providers or folders to encrypt by simply right-clicking them and nominating them for encryption. A full list of providers and folders that are encrypted can be found under Policies, Encryption, Folders Nominated for Encryption. Access control is an important part of any governance and compliance strategy. The Enterprise File Fabric has always allowed you to set ACLs on team shared folders. These ACLs inherit down to subfolders, and those subfolders can break inheritance at any point. Today I'm going to show you some of the new ACLs in the file fabric. I have a team share folder set up called Marketing that already has ACLs applied to it, and the Logos folder is inheriting those. I'd like to break this inheritance for the Marketing Department by overriding what the Marketing Department can do. My previous options were no access, read, or read and write. But now I can do subcontrols to any of these access methods. Maybe I want the marketing department to be able to do read write access but not create subfolders. Or perhaps I want them to only be able to read this data from the web client and not from one of the desktop clients. Either way, I simply click apply. And now logos and any subfolders of logos will now have the new enhanced ACLs. Among the multiple collaboration enhancements in the file fabric are two new web editors, Google Apps and Zoho Documents. Now in this example, a user has been given two shared folders from their admin, one backended by Google Storage, another backended by S3 Storage. The storage backended by Google has been set to automatically convert any file uploaded to it to the native Google document type. So for example, this PowerPoint that I just uploaded has been converted to Google Slides. The user now simply double clicks to launch the Google Web Editor and make alterations to the document. For files that are not backended by Google, you can use Zoho Editor. In this example, I have the same PowerPoint, and the user would right-click and do a web edit, and they can decide whether they want to edit this document by themselves or allow team members to simultaneously edit it with them. Clicking Web Edit Team launches the Zoho Interactive Documents. At current, I'm the only user editing this document. Let's see what happens when another user opens it for edit. In this window, I'm logged in as a different user. 
and I'm also going to open the document in Web Edit Team. Once launched, I'm notified that there's another collaborator. Doug is also editing this document. And Doug can see that Eric is also editing this document. Changing the document results in real-time changes to Eric's screen as well. The last collaboration feature I'd like to highlight is our workflow and comment versioning features. User Doug has a PowerPoint document that he's been working on. He's uploaded it to the file fabric and he's going to add a comment. Adding intro page. Notice that this comment is tagged to the current version of the file. Now Doug opens the file using our cloud edit tool. Now it doesn't have to be our cloud edit tool, it could be with our local drive or other products, but the cloud edit tool allows you to work on web documents directly on your Mac. Doug adds the introduction page and saves the file. This results in a new comment and a new version of the file. Doug is now ready to send this file to his boss, Eric. He requests approval. which brings the new flag, Approval Requested. User Eric will see that the approval is requested and that there's a message telling him that there's a file for approval and where it is. Eric can preview this file, flip through the slides, and decide to either approve or reject the slide deck. Eric's going to reject the deck. User Doug will receive a new message informing Doug that Eric has not approved his document and wishes him to add his name to the first slide. Doug can do so. save the file back to the web, and even note in the comment timeline how this file has been altered. And if he so chooses, tag Eric. Doug can then resubmit the request for approval. Eric then receives a message asking him to approve the document. This time Eric will approve it. And at this point, the icon changes to show that this file is now approved. The file is also now read-only so that further changes cannot be made to it. Doug sees this reflected on his screen as well. I've just scratched the surface of features in the new Enterprise File Fabric from Storage Made Easy. Go to our website, sign up for a SaaS account, and try all of these features on the web with no effort. Or contact our sales team. Get a virtual machine that you can deploy on-premise or in the cloud and run this against your storage today. I'm Doug Soltes, and thanks for watching.